ियलिटी Now what is happening is that despite repeated orders passed by the guardianship court, upheld by the honourable high court, the mother is not giving me any access to my only child, only son, who was born after seven so years. That is, if if she is not giving access, that is a so ladyship. Remedy, remedy, is, uh, remedy is different. Not I understand. Case. No, I am giving the background, ladyship. Now that is my major grievance for me to file a divorce petition. Right now I am out of my own house. She is staying in my property. I am staying in rented accommodation. Despite several orders passed by the Honorable High Court, upheld by the Supreme Court as well, she is not giving me any access. So, and what is happening in the guardianship in the in the MC case is a lawyer comes twice. The right to cross examine has been closed. The paramour also they are in conspiracy. Repeatedly their rights have been closed. They move a memo for recall. They it is one thousand rupees cost is imposed and they recall. But several dates have passed and she is not cross examining. The lawyer comes and because we are Christians by faith, she makes random questions like, "Do you know the Ten Commandments?" Just to delay time, and this has been going on for months, which is why we've been constrained to move an application in this particular case for a time-bound disposal. If she will see the orders, number of times their rights have been closed, then they come on the next day. Then she says, "I am not." She comes to the court herself, the lawyer, and says, "Today I am not feeling well. I cannot cross-examine." And this has happened on three, four occasions. It's already mentioned in the order sheets. they are just wanting to delay the matter so somehow i get frustrated i give up on my child i agree to whatever she says and even, even the petitions which are filed in 17 18 19 are also pending before the courts leadership the 2019 there now was 2019 matters they are going to clear all the 2019 pendency now out of the way court cannot pass any order to decide leadership leadership my only point is that I the way the matter is no, proceeding. If, if if she is not complying with the orders of the court, not giving uh, any, not permitting him to meet the children, you have a remedy. No, that is a separate issue. Yes. That is only a background I gave, Lady. She why I filed for divorce. I didn't. I was only wanting to meet my child, but when she made it so difficult and uh, being in contempt of various orders of the court, I filed an MC. This is also a case of adultery. The the pastor of the church where we were visiting, she was in adulterous relationship with him, and he's a party to the case. Now sometimes the pastor's lawyer takes a date, sometimes she takes a date, and they are both in collision with each other. And what is happening is that this matter is just dragging on. And Lady Shiv, my point is, what is my fault? I am I have finished. I am the only witness in this case. I have given my evidence one year ago, and Lady Shiv will see ten dates have gone. Please, when... please come. Yes, Lady Shiv. Present petition is filed. Giving a direction to the family court, Bangalore for expedited disposal of the divorce petition, MC number two four double two of twenty twenty two in a time bound manner. It is a case of the uh, land council for the petitioner submits petitioner husband submits the the wife on one pretext or the other has been dragging on the matter and is not cooperating with the child. It is also submitted that uh, she had failed to. Uh, uh, Comply with honor the orders of the court or or honor the orders passed by the court by several courts, and uh, the father is not able to see the children. Child, there's only one single son. Child, yes. in, the, uh, in those circumstances, unless the unless this petition is disposed of at the earliest, it will cause a lot of injustice to the peti petitioner husband. The next para, the honourable apex court, had time and again had passed orders, wherein the courts are restrained from passing orders directing the trial courts to dispose of the matters, unless in a exceptional cases. This is the MC of twenty twenty two, and uh, this is pending in the family court, Bangalore. There are several cases which are pending, which are much prior to these cases, and. Uh, And everybody's problems is around revolves around these issues, and there cannot be an exception 
to this case and this court finds no reasons and uh, next uh, next para this court has specifically directed the courts to complete the pendency by 2019 and at this stage if again for a 2022 matter out of the way there cannot be any order as this court finds no reasons there, there should may make one statement there should be record one thing there should be no unnecessary adjournment sort the issue has recorded that in cases not, the entire court is not inclined to pass any order fixing a time frame however submitting the the considering the submission of the learned counsel for the petitioner the court shall uh, uh, court shall proceed with the matter without granting unnecessary adjournments i'm so grateful H. i'm so grateful thank you yeah. I have one of so and so is filed to dispense the production of the type copy of an exam A B C D F N G. The I A is allowed and dispensed. Yes, I'm so grateful. Thank you. 